Let us see our next question. The following details are related to borrowing the requirements of two companies called ABC Limited, called DEF Limited. Name of both the companies are provided to us. The requirement of the funds is given to us. ABC wants fixed rate funds and DEF requires floating rate funds. Fixed rate funds rate of interest have been given and floating rate of funds rate of interest have been given to us. Both the companies are in need of 250 lakhs for a period of 4 years. The interest rates on floating rate loans are reset annually. So every year so the floating rate of interest will change. The current PLR, this word is very important. Current PLR, spot rate, it has a meaning. For the various period of the maturity is are as follows. For one year, directly for two years, directly for three years and directly for four years. DEF has bought an interest rate cap at the rate of 5.625 percentage at an upfront payment of the premium. So the premium is paid upfront only in one stroke only. You are required to exhibit how these two companies can reduce their borrowing cost by adopting SWAP. Assuming that so the gain resulting from the SWAP shall be shared equally between both of them. Further calculate. So this is the first question. Second question. Further calculate cost of funding to these two companies assuming that the expectation theory holds good. That is the question. I request all of you to go through the question. Then we will discuss how to do it. Let us have understanding of this question. An excellent question in my opinion. Over here, there are three concepts according to me that say they have merged. And whenever this kind of question is there, then in that case you should be able to apply all these concepts together. The first thing that say you must have understood, it is the concept of the swap transaction. Yes, information is provided to us that ABC Limited wants to have the borrowing at the fixed rate. Like that information is given. And DEF wants to take the loan at the floating rate. So of course in step number one, we understand that say if at all both of them borrow independently, then 4.5 plus 3. 7.5% is the total interest payment. Now they will be advised to borrow differently. Let's say instead of borrowing like this, they should be borrowing say differently. Then in that case, the interest rate would be 5 plus 2, that is 7. So 7.5 minus 7. So there would be savings of the interest of 0.5 percentage. Whatever the savings that say we have, it will be split between both of them in equal proportion. So in that case, 0.25 is what they will be able to save. So ABC Limited would be required to pay finally 4.25 percentage and uh, DEF Limited would be required to pay P plus 2.75 percentage. This is the way we are required to make the swap calculation. Directly or indirectly, no swap charges is provided to us. So we will be ignoring the swap charges in the calculation. So over here friends, we understand that say, this is the first concept that say we are going to discuss swap. Of course, uh, we are going to write this in detail answer. For the timing, I'm just giving explanation to you. The second point that they, they have provided over here is say the cap option. Now basically we understand that say DEF limited which has borrowed at the floating rate of interest is having a fear that the floating rate of interest will go up. So it is entering into the interest rate cap transaction like that information is given. Of course this time logically we understand that say P plus 2.75 together will be compared with 5.625 percentage for the purpose of making calculation of the differential interest. 
because you can see that so the PLR information which is given to us in the example is substantially less than 5.625 percentage. Now the question is providing clearly the information that say there is an upfront payment of the premium. But what is the amount of the premium is not provided to us. Rather the question does not even provide that say you compute that. So we understand that say there is a payment of the premium. How much for that say no information is here and there is no question connected to that. So we are ignoring that say what is the amount of the premium which is paid. Now the important third concept comes into the picture is this. We have been provided with the information about the current PLR for the different maturities. This is the information which is important according to me. Current PLR for the different maturities. So what happens at over here? We are required to make an anticipation that what would be the PLR at the beginning of year 2 for the second year. At the beginning of year 3 for the third year. At the beginning of year 4 for fourth year. That is what we are required to calculate. So it is year 1, year 2, year 3 and year 4. So what would be the rate of interest at the beginning of year 4 for the fourth year is required to be found. At the beginning of the third year for third year is required to be found. At the beginning of year 2 for the second year is required to be found. And of course, the first year rate of interest is known to everyone and that is provided to us as 2.75 percentage. Now how to make the calculation of the prime lending rate of interest likely to prevail at the beginning of year 2 for second year. For that say we have to refer the concept that we have studied of the forward rate in security analysis and security valuation. In that say we have understood the concept called the forward rate. So forward rate will be calculated like this. Listen carefully. It is 1 plus spot for the second year raised to 2 is equal to 1 plus spot for the first year raised to 1 into 1 plus F2 raised to 1. That is the way we are required to make the calculation of the rate of interest which is likely to prevail at the beginning of year 2 for second year. So now we are going to make an anticipation that what would be the rate of interest at the beginning of year 2 for second year. We are going to anticipate that say what would be the rate of interest at the beginning of year 3 for the third year. At the beginning of year 4 for the fourth year. That is what say we are going to anticipate. Now whatever the floating rate of interest that say we compute say from year 1 to year 4. Whatever the floating rate of interest that say we compute from year 1 to year 4. First year, second year, third year, fourth year. Suppose, suppose it is 3, 4, 2, 1. As far as the first year is concerned, it is 2.75 only. Now this is the prime lending rate of interest. That is the floating rate of interest. Now that will be added to 2.75. So, 2.75 plus 2.75. So, the total is 5.5. So, over here it is 6.75. Over here it is 4.75. Over here it is 3.75. That is the way total interest cost will be calculated. Now, this total interest cost will be compared with 5.625. We understand that say, 5.625 is compared every time. As far as the DEF limited is concerned, it is going to receive something over here. In remaining cases, it will not receive anything. This is what we understand. So, the right answer of the question. First point. In this question, comma, we have to take into account
following concepts. For calculation of answer. In that return A, swap agreement B, cap agreement C, forward rate calculation. Second point. In case of swap arrangement, both the companies will borrow mutually so that Together, they will be able to reduce interest cost. Directly or indirectly, No information is given. For swap charges, comma, so it will be ignored. in calculation of answer. Second point. For interest rate cap, comma, premium will be paid up front full stop def limited will receive compensation for interest exceeding 5.625 percentage third importantly from given spot rates this word spot rate is important friends the term spot rate stands for if at all there is a borrowing for directly 2 years then the per annum rate of interest is 3 percent directly 3 years then the per annum rate of interest is 3.2 percentage directly for 4 years then the per annum rate of interest is 3.375 percentage. This is given a technical name as a spot rate. Importantly from given spot rates, 
from year 2 to year 4 comma we have to find forward rate for year 2 to year 4 full stop चलो इन दैट राइट डाउन हेडिंग राइट डाउन स्पेक अग्रीमेंट इन दैट राइट डाउन स्टेप नंबर वन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ टोटल इंटरेस्ट इफ ईच कंपनी borrows independently so friends over here we have been given that say ABC wants to borrow at fix so the rate of interest is 4.5 and DEF floating, so the rate of interest is PLR plus 2. So it is ABC and DEF. For ABC, the rate of interest is 4.5, and for DEF, it is PLR plus 3. So in that case, it is PLR plus 7.5. This is the total interest if they would have borrowed independently. Step number two. Both the companies would be advised to borrow differently so it is again ABC and DEF so ABC will borrow at P plus 2 and DEF will borrow at 5 so the total interest payment will be P plus 7 Step number three in the red down comparing total cost for step number one and step number two. We can see that. There is a savings of 0.5 percentage. Hence, both the companies will have a savings of 0.25 percentage. So it is 0.25 percent into 1 by 2. Finally, interest cost for both of them. would be as under so 
So, A, B, C, and D, E, F. For A, B, C, it will be instead of 4.5, it will be 4.25. And for D, E, F, it will be P plus 2.75. That is a savings of 0.25%. So this 4.5 is calculated, 4.25 is found as 4.5 minus 0.25 and this is P plus 3 minus 0.25. So we start with this. This is the rate at which they have borrowed. So first of all, we will show like this payment of interest to bank. This is only for understanding. It does not form part of the answer. ABC will pay interest at P plus 2 and DEF will pay interest at the rate of 5. Final interest cost. For ABC should be 4.25 and for DEF it should be P plus 2.75. That should be the cost. Okay. As it is a payment, so I am showing it as outflow. Now we understand that say internal borrowing lending. Let us say that say ABC borrows from DEF. Let us take at the rate of 5%. So it will pay 5, it will receive 5. So for DEF, the payment and the receipt will be squared off against each other. Now, DEF borrows from ABC. What is the rate? P plus 0.75. That is the balancing figure. So over here, it will receive P plus 2.75. So what will happen for ABC? Automatically the things will be adjusted. We understand that the payment of P and receipt of P. This will be squared off. Okay, now the payment of 2 percentage, this 2 percent, that is a payment. For the payment of 5, so it comes to 7. And there is a receipt of 2.75. So the final interest cost will be 4.25 automatically. 